Hello. So rumors and leaks and new rumors and leaks. So take all of this with a pinch of salt for the simple reason I just think this is interesting and explains a few things. And it first got alerted to me via Nerdrotic's live stream. And then we started digging. It's amazing the conversations you can have with people, especially on the inside, because they're fun. First things first, the lore characters from Tolkien's work are actually on loan from Warner Brothers. They have the screen rights to them, which I find fascinating. This could explain a handful of things, including limited to no merchandising, the overabundance of original characters presented within presented within Rings of Prime, and just an overall kind of mess the show has been. Like, this is a dumpster fire, and it's burning really bright right now. This explains so much, because Amazon have to pay to use these characters, and they have to pay if they merchandise them and so on. The which explains where some of the budget, or a lot of the budget, has gone. So all the people that rip apart Peter Jackson and Warner Brothers constantly on Twitter, you're giving them money. Just, just putting that one out there. Because, you know, Amazon. You know, the evil corporation that before Rings of Power you're all slamming and now it's the greatest thing ever. Hypocrisy is real. Now... We're going down the rabbit hole of other stuff and other information, and I think you guys will enjoy this. So, under the original con conception of Rings of Power, when it had a different name, and it was going to be very different show. So, the leaks and the rumours include the fact that, originally, there was going to be a different character. It wasn't going to be Galadriel, or Guy Ladriel, with no character development. And... It also explains why the actress didn't know who she was auditioning for, which is also a interesting little tidbit of information. And I think that's quite commonly known anyway, but I think this overall is fascinating. They're also limited on the portrayal of the characters, um, how they look, what they wear, and so on, which explains why some things are so oddly different. They're also limited on marketing with the lore characters. They can't just market this character. They have to pay Warner Brothers to get every time it's marketed, every time it's shown. And, I mean, the sort of deserted, underpopulated Middle Earth of the Rings of Power is predominantly, the few population are predominantly original characters. Lore characters get more limited screen time because every time they're on screen, they have to pay. So that's an interesting one. And it kind of goes down this rabbit hole of... The, the early concept for the show was very different. It also, there was heavy recasting. After um, Christopher Tolkien died, there was heavy recasting and heavy reshoots, rewriting. And it's why the series went from ten episodes to eight episodes because they just ran out of time. There is apparently hundreds of hours of shot footage on the cutting room floor at this point, featuring very different versions of these characters and the somewhat different plot. Although it would have followed the basic structure, it wouldn't have been the Galadriel with a big Final Fantasy sword. It would have been quite different. And that's an interesting little tidbit of information. Rings of Power came out with no merchandising. And even now, the merchandising is extraordinarily limited or bootleg. They also, and this is again rumour mill, can't release this series on DVD or Blu-ray because of the licensing agreement that they have with Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers have a get-out-of-jail-free card. Warner Brothers apparently could at any point say, we don't want you to use our characters anymore, bye. Because they own the exclusive screen rights, which is interesting overall, because it explains so much with the construction of this show. I mean, there was recasting at the last minute, especially after Christopher died. There was people walked away, people backstage walked away, production team and so on. There was like a whole list of people that just 
went by. And now we know why. <laughs> um, I mean, the hours of footage on the floor, the countless other things, there's... I mean, I would love to see that footage, actually. What was the original concept for the show? But the the leaks and the rumors include the original concept for the show was going to be an original character played by the same actress that just would have been kind of the same role. You know, unlikable Mary Sue with no character growth or development. And no... It would have followed the same thing. It also explains the con uh, condensed timeline. Because originally, again, leaks and rumours, the timeline of this show wasn't going to be across the Second Age. It was going to focus on the fall of Fru Numenor and the rings themselves, and also why there's two Durins in this show. Uh, Sauron would have been a more background character, and the God Awful Help, the fan fiction version they created, the incel version, would have um, not been on screen that much. They also had the option of getting his proper name in the Second Age, and help Brand, they didn't want to use it because they didn't want to pay for it. Other leaks included they had the option of other supplementary material other than the appendices. And that's that's a whole thing. Like they had the option of getting this supplementary material and they didn't because money. Jeffrey Bezos, according to leaks and rumors, is not happy with how this show has gone. He is bitterly disappointed with season one. Um absolutely disappointed. And Disappointed in people's reaction and disappointed in the show himself. To say what you want about him, he is actually a Lord of the Rings fan, believe it or not. And he gave creative control to the wrong people. Insiders have said that the meetings have been very intense. And now we have more leaks going into season two because of the strike. And they put out the thing, oh, all the footage has been filmed. Yeah, but they can't do any ADR. Because there's always outdoor filming, there's always going to be ADR. Because if you don't know what that is, it's when you voice over something to make up for background noise. They can't reshoot anything. And other leaks and insiders have said that season two is completely incomplete. Because there's no... There's not barely any footage. To the point, they may end up splitting season two into two lots of four episodes. But again, rumours and leaks... That might be incorrect, so just putting that one out there. The show is uh, a failure on many levels, and this is prime example of it. Both in construction, both in writing, and now we kind of know why there's been so many backstage dramas. I mean, there was actors that walked away very early in production, and many of the actors were changed at the last minute to the point the costumes don't fit the people on screen explained. This also explains why some of the key actors are in background actors' costumes, with the seams under the arms and, and all of that stuff going on. Because, and let's be real, you have to do reshoots. Pieces that they created may not have survived, and costume designers walked away from this again early on, because they all signed do not talk things and all these agreements, so they can't really talk about it, but a lot of them took their work with them. This show was going to be very, very different early on, and there's been other leaks as well, which I'll talk about in another video more in depth next week, but the other leaks have been interesting because they didn't, they breezed over a few people. They breezed over a few well-known Tolkien scholars because they were too concerned with accuracy. And that explains a few things as well. I mean, it... Like, watching this show, the construction of this show, how it's been put together, there's no sense of time, there's no sense of distance, there's no sense of travel. The world feels underpopulated. Uh, dialogue is stilted and awkward in places, which is obvious reshoots. 
the continuity is completely broken. And the limited screen time of certain lore-based characters, it's telling as hell. Because money. Let's be real. You have a billion dollars to play with, and a lot of that money has gone on rights for characters, reshoots, heavy editing, recasting, because even if you're recasted, you still have to pay the actor that left. Um, there's a whole list of things, and the fact that none of these actors are making particularly good amount of money, and barring Lenny Henry, most of the, and even him, I didn't know he was an actor, I've always thought he was like Mr. Dawn French, comedian. The, this whole situation screams of, we've shot ourselves in the foot and we don't know how to get out of it. And it shows in how this show is constructed. Like, you can always tell a movie with heavy reshoots. Be it hair, be it continuity, be it this, be it that. They desperately tried to fix what they wanted to use and create the version of the Rings of Power that we see now. But the original... And again, leaks and rumours, and I hate saying that too much, but we're going into this. The original concept for this show was fundamentally so different to what was eventually released that what's on that cutting room floor? What actors are on the cutting room floor? What, what moments are on? There's, there's a whole list of all of this stuff that has happened and just been pushed under the rug and now this information is leaking coming out via varying groups peoples and contacts that I think a lot more is going to come out about this show because these leaks are now getting quite heavy and since I started making uh, it's very interesting uh, since I started making videos on Rings of Power years ago when it first sort of dropped I've been accused of being paid by Warner Brothers I've never received money from Warner Brothers. I'd like to be paid by Warner Brothers. Let's be real. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that? This is where everything now comes into play. The leaks of who's been paid, who got access, and that includes people I won't name here, but certain well-known Lord of the Rings Tolkien people on YouTube um, all received either money or access. That's... Mm. Once money changes hands... I always have a rule with sponsorships and products and things like that, that if I'm doing something, I A, I want to like the product, B, I'm very interested in the product, or I use it anyway. I will always say to people, let me test it out, let me do stuff with it before I do a sponsorship, because I want to know if I like the product. And I have turned down quite a lot of products. I've turned down quite a few recently. The leaks on this information have just left me quite sour with a lot of people. I mean, the the problem is, they're now running Lord of the Rings into the ground, like Disney have done with Star Wars, like Disney have done with Marvel, and Disney, 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 and that's a whole... Uh, I've done a video about them recently. Like, these leaks are getting bigger, and knowing that there was so much just chopped out, redone, recut, and the whole thing of them trying to create a show, and then once they got the opportunity to cut loose from the Legendarium, and Christopher died, and other people, the, the major reshoots, I mean, there's hundreds of hours of footage. Not just deleted scenes, not just unfinished stuff, there is hundreds of hours of footage. Like I said, the original release was going to be ten episodes, and then they cut it down to eight because they ran out of time inconsistency throughout is a sign of that but also knowing that Warner Brothers own the screen rights to these characters exclusively and they're on loan from them is also an interesting one because they won't say how much they're costing them but there is a lot of money changing hands just to use these characters and they're very limited on what they can do with them including merchandising like there isn't even a Funko Pop like that, you know, like everything gets a Funko Pop. At the at the time I'm filming this, I could be wrong, but you know, I don't really do Funko Pops. But there is nothing. There's no tie-ins. There were book cover tie-ins, which have been a little bit of a disaster. 
And partly, and I don't think it's so much to do with people disliking Rings of Power. I think the book cover tying thing is just people don't like tying book covers. Like, let's be real, I don't like tying book covers. I think they're ugly. Um, I prefer to have the book separate from the media that it's been turned into. And just watching this kind of trickle of info. The original concept having a different female character, and it explains so much of the compressed timeline that it's... Hmm, it kind of says a lot, doesn't it? One of the rumours in this mill is originally the character was going to just be a woman from a random location who gets pulled into this and you're watching the events unfold around her rather than actually her being directly linked to most of them. And Galadriel was going to be a background character that popped up every now and then. Like, they're probably paying millions at this point to have her on screen pretty much every episode. So, mm. characterization has always been poor in this show, and it explains with the rewrites, the heavy reshoots, a lot was done. And I think they just ran out of money. Like, it's a billion-dollar TV show, and they're paying thousands upon thousands, just millions, to use certain things. There's also rights on the locations as well. So this is really complicated. Any location that is mentioned in the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit trilogies has to be paid back to... Um, paid straight back to uh, Warner Brothers. So, again, screen rights. They have the rights to create a show, but certain things are under screen rights, and there's a very convoluted deal here. So, a lot of places have remained reasonably unnamed. They also, um, I mean, already you've got two practicing Mormons as showrunners who donate, God knows how much, so much percentage of their money to the Mormon church. So, you know... That's a thing that people tend to breeze over. And by the way, I have no problems with Mormons. They're some of the loveliest people I've ever met. I'm just putting this into context for the hypocrisy of Twitter or Twatter or X. You know. Um, but this whole debacle now is getting more and more explanation. And I, I've got a video coming next week, like I said, where I'll be going into the accuracy and the people that were passed over. Like, I've had some fascinating conversations with people. People that have had meetings, phone, Zoom, FaceTime, whatever, face-to-face, -face. and the amount of people that got passed over. It's interesting because a lot of other things have happened. I mean, uh, there's a well-known... It's, it's a glorified book club, and I talked about it in the talking, fake Talking Scholars Exposed video, that they took money from... Amazon, as well as um, other things as well, and the Tolkien Society, which is tragic, really. The destruction of that is just so sad at this point. The, the whole situation is, is just a mess, and they wanted to get rid of Shippy from the start. That's the thing, because he was too focused on accuracy and too focused, and he... Once he was out, they were looking for a reason to fire him. And the f broken NDA is... May, may not be true. Because something was happening backstage and they were looking for an excuse to get rid of him. From the get-go. And people hate it when I use the word get-go. Seriously. It's... From the start of production, they wanted him gone because they didn't want an accurate series. They wanted a completely different show. They wanted everything. And then once they were gone and they suddenly realised we need characters, we need well-known places, we need to buy this audience, they started inserting the lore characters into the uh, show in a far bigger way to kind of compensate for that. So that's that's a whole thing that's happened and like allegedly happened I should say. Uh the insiders are fantastic and I thank you all because you guys feed me information in a way that is fantastic. And now with 
the debacle that's happening here because people aren't happy with the state of the filming. There's threats of legal action. New Zealand government might be taking legal action. There's, there's a whole list of like trickle-down effects here. And the other leak involved that Bezos has basically said, if season two is not a commercial success, that's it. Bezos is pissed. That's the most basic thing at this point. And he would rather pay out, because they have to pay uh, the Tolkien estate when the show gets cancelled. They have to pay them to cancel it because it's a locked-in deal. Uh, he would rather pay that than continue with this embarrassment, direct alleged quote. So, I mean, this whole thing has happened. This whole situation has just gone down like a lead balloon, and it's embarrassing. So, lots of leaks, lots of information, and more videos coming, and I will talk to you guys later. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, by the way, because I'm curious on this one myself, and I always take these kind of alleged leaks and stuff from the inside as a big, big pinch of salt, because, you know, people, it might not be 100% accurate, it might be, it, it depends. So far, every leak I've got and have been privy to has been correct, pretty much, especially in the early days of production. So, the leaks are rolling in. Now, share this video, like this video, comment, do whatever you want. I have a Patreon, you can become a member. Enjoy yourselves, have fun, and enjoy. And I hope you guys stick around for more.